Wartaw Timber 8 H16 Saving Machine Settings. Timber 8 H16 uses a single computer file to save multiple machine settings. This file is called an XML, and once saved can be used to reload saved machine settings such as calibration files, button layouts, and harvester head settings. To save the current machine settings, navigate up to the File Handling tab on the Run Screen Management menu. This page manages both the saving and loading of machine settings. It also manages the saving of various other production files, stem files, and bucking instructions. In this example, we'll be saving the machine files, so put a check mark in the Machine Settings option on the file saving side of the screen. Then press the Next tab to step forward. It will then automatically name the file using the unique system profile ID that has been entered into the base machine configuration page. The default location for this file to be saved is the parameters folder, which is located in the Timberite files folder. This is the best place to save this file as the automation will be looking here by default when it's asked to load a file. Press next to step forward. The last page is a summary with a message box letting you know that the file was saved successfully and also where it is located. Pressing the done button will finish the process and return you to the run screen. If you have the email client for Timberite H16 set up and the PC connected to a network, you will also have the option of sending the file that you created via email by checking this box and following the prompts when pressing done. If you wish to save the file to a different location, follow the same steps as before to get to the second saving page. Then press the ellipses button to the right of the file name. This will open a Windows menu box where you can choose the location to save the file in. On the left side of the menu box is a list of all the available drives. In this example, we are going to save the XML to a memory stick that's been inserted into the USB port on the PC. Select the memory stick from the list of drives. Again, it will automatically generate a file name using the harvester ID. Since we are using this as a backup file for a later date or to use in a different machine, it can be renamed. Highlight the file name and rename it. Then press the Save button. Now you will be back at the file handling page with the new file name in the File to be Saved box. Press Next and you will then be at the summary again with a message box letting you know that the file was saved successfully and also where it's located. Pressing Done from here will finish the saving process and bring you back to the run screen.